What's up, my peoples? How are we today? It's Saturday. Now, I had an interesting question from, uh, I think it was Duchess Margaret. She was asking if I had any um, near-death experience to make me who I am. And I can't remember any. You know, she's like, if it was in the womb, or you passed. The only thing I remember my mother ever telling me is that I was in the hospital for jaundice. I don't remember the age. I do have a memory of it. And my neighbor was actually in the same room. I remember that. She would have been in high school or 14 then, something like that. That's, I do have a memory of being in that hospital. And I have no memory of any other weird experience. Had some accidents, but no NDA. So I'm gonna try to get my mom's energy. Use some cards. And see if I can figure out why I am who I am. It isn't, this probably won't get a lot of hits or views, but it's not what I'm about. It's not all about 45 and that mess. It's about discovery. It's about mysteries. It's about angels, guides, passing on, and being your best self. So my mother, who has passed, do the cards and any guidance you want to give me. First, did I have a near-death experience inside you when you carried me in the womb or after the fact? To change my mind of spirituality and why I am. I'm going to use my fairy deck, which is more people oriented, loving nature oriented. Visualizing my mom, who I miss dearly. She just turned 19 when she had me, and <laughs> she said I was a horrible baby. Wouldn't leave her side, just cried if she would. I wasn't being held. <laughs> Probably why I had such a great connection with her. of what I got came from her. Miss my mama. I got a tattoo to remember her. She's got flowers. She loved her flowers. She had a rosary and hard to see but it's got like a dove or mockingbird kind of thing. She, she had a whole bunch of Mockingbirds and her uh, doves, ornaments, and a ton of chicken stuff. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of chicken stuff, porcelain chicken things from her. And of course, pictures galore of the kids and grandkids and whatnot. Super mom and grandma. <laughs> Was at every sporting event, every event.
on the bottom we have the moon. <clears throat> Powerful, intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear and understanding the truth. What I'm getting is I was given this for a specific reason out of the moon. <clears throat> the center of the reading is the lovers. True love that is long lasting. Choices made from the heart. Never, never fails. I start getting into something and then I have to move my vehicle or whatever. I'm back. Okay. We were on the lovers. The lovers is a union. And that looks like guided. So there was a connection already given. King of Summer, King of Cups. Romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in the culture or creative endeavor. So, I was given who I am. Past, however, within my soul. Beneath, beneath that is the grace, the strength card. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace the wonderful who you are. So when I figured out this strength, which came in the mid-2000s when I figured it out from my uh, unfortunate divorce. That's where my strength came from. And when you talk about kindness and forgiveness, overcoming those challenges, that was my biggest time of forgiveness. I had to forgive myself, forgive my wife for our failures, and it changed me, love and forgiveness. Next to the lovers, <clears throat> three of wands, three of spring. Spring is your rebirth, your awakening. Plan your next steps with an eye in the long term. Have patience and there will be good things to come. And satisfaction of a job well done. Another rebirth card, seven of spring. Be assertive. Don't back down in your beliefs. Create courageously. Stand up for who I am. Okay, next to the King of Cups is the ten, ten, ten of Coins. Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children and loved ones. Make wise investments, planning for retirement, honoring family traditions. So, with the King of Cups and next to that, it's not feeling financial. It's feeling the honor of family, the connection I had to family, hence why I have had two family members as guides. Next to the King of Cups is the Eight of Wands. 
stress that comes from having many things happening at once. Successful multitasking, sudden events or changes. What was I saying about my 2000s with the love of forgiveness? Sudden events and changes. It changed who I was. Next to the strength is the king of coins. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything will go your way. A good person or company to work for. I now work for them. My spirit, my soul, my body is for them. I accept. And I learn. Next to the strength to the right is the wheel of fortune. Delays are over. Sudden and unexpected good luck. A new car or travel. What's that good luck? To me it's feeling like the ever ending changes. What we're going through now. Ascension. Growth. Many guy, many readers and psychics are gaining more knowledge, more info, more, more everything, feeling more connected. And then we have another king, king of wands, a financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now, an unexpected supporter of your cause. Innovative, inspiring, wise, and theatrical. Theatrical, I like to entertain a little bit, right? But this is feeling like the King of Wands is partnerships I'm making within YouTube. And everyone getting connected. Ten of Wands. Ask for help. All work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. That makes sense. Because I have a lot on my plate. I work by the time I wake up and get home from work anywhere from 11 to 12 hours. And then I try to give you all fine folks some content and new spirit and try to do some readings here and there try to help some people. So I have a lot on my plate. Life experience. That's the tower. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life changing event. A situation that leads to significant opportunities. So this tower life experience is not a drastic fall it's a new change change in the gifts change in what's going on and then finally we have the ace of wands <clears throat> it's time to take action be fearless and happy happily pursue the most treasured dreams amazing career opportunities are coming New actions, new support, new love coming through. So what's going on in my life <clears throat> is ever-changing. So, this tells the story. It's not technically telling me if I had an NDE. What it's mostly showing is that it was given through family. with these three. King of Cups, which was in the middle. Where is it? And then, yeah. The King of Cups, the Ten of Autumn, and the Eight of Spring. The King of Cups is the person I desire to be. You know, the loving, sharing, caring. 
hiatus bring with those sudden changes? And the Ten of Autumn is all about family, heritage, what I was giving from family. So let's try one more time with something else. The first person I seen when I had that awakening in the 2000s was my great aunt Ida. I had no clue what was going on with me and I kept seeing this picture in my mind of a woman. She felt familiar and <clears throat> I was looking for old photos within our family tree and whatnot and I'm like, oh my god, that's her. Your great aunt Ida. <laughs> so she was with me guiding for maybe 10 years and then she moved on and then I had like a six year break I was like okay that's it it's over thank you good stuff but then my great grandmother came in currently Magdalena which she was known as Maggie. So now she's around me and others. So, did I have an NDE, near death, that I am unaware of in my mother's womb? or some life event that I'm unaware of. I'm not feeling it, seeing it. of swords positive changes on their way traveling relocating prince of coins cautious wise action attention to detail kindness to others humorous protective ten of swords why a resolution to difficulties weight being lifted end of an addiction or codependency hmm. that some kind of weight is going to be lifted from my shoulders maybe I do this full time instead of my other job Three of Wands. Plan my next steps. Eye on the long term. Got that before. Satisfaction with job well done. King of Cups again. Warm hearted, mature, and devoted. Five of Cups. Trust that there's a reason for everything. Remove yourself the negative. Focus on what frightens you. So that's telling me stay in the stay in the positive. Stay in the positive. Don't allow negative in your life. Don't allow negative energy in your life. If it comes, release it. Just say, take this from me. It ain't happening. Stay in the love and light. Princess, um, page of cups, gentle, sensitive, kind, but inexperienced, a new relationship, uh, social events, 
compassionate friend. Hmm. And the world. Well, YouTube, you can share your thoughts, feelings, readings throughout the world. And it's a brilliant success. Freedom to go in any direction. Your journey is now complete. It's not saying anything about a near death. Not at all. And again, Ace of Wands, New Action, Ace of Cups, Loving Over Full, Heart of the Love, Chariot, Moving on a Different Direction. Huh. It just feels like I was given this. My feelings, who I am, my emotions, my awareness, my forgiveness, my compassion for others through my ancestors. Let's try a non-deck quick. That's not bad. Let's go with the keywords. As soon as life came to my soul in my mother's womb, did I ever have a near-death experience to jumpstart my spiritual awakening? I'm hearing no. Wasn't my path to have that have it that way. feels like for my growth my whole life experience was doing the groundwork to get where I am to make things perfect make my life perfect make it well nothing ever perfect but the best I can it's working on it. uh, four of wands that's um, the rite of passage rest it's feeling like rest love forgiveness to get to the next path ten of cups the happy home card satisfaction completion good fortune being aligned with spirit ace of pentacles manifestation legacies That to me means keywords have a few things on it, right? A few words, which are very helpful. You kind of browse at each one and like, ah, and then the guides say, legacy. The family legacy. Two of swords. With all of this, the first words are balanced forces. That makes sense to me. Balancing your life, balancing this, that, and everything, stay in the light, balance your growth, learn. Knight of Swords. Courage. Having the courage to move forward. Empress. There's your loving nature, your giving. Um, the Abundance. The words that speak to me is being grounded to the earth, meaning being who you are, releasing ego, being that person, right? Nine of Cups, here's your party card. To me, that's saying all the ones up there helping. Here's your party card. Here's your help. Here's your love and joy and abundance coming. Bringing that. And it's also counting your blessings. That's the words that you there. Queen of Cups. The intuition. And then the last one, Page of Wands. The message that come through. So when you be that person, be that person who they want you to be. And listen to them. And use your gut instinct. 
of right, wrong, guided truth. You create that happy family. You create that abundance and that warm feelings. And you grow. And you learn. Counting your blessings. The lovers, here's your connection. Above and ground. Seven of swords means stay out of the darkness. Hangman. Transition. Um... The hangman to me is me feeling like certain aspects of forces, the moon, cycles, do affect us. And sometimes we need to take that step back. Because you're just not feeling it. Because you're either evolving or gaining information. Or you're just off-center because of these influences. Because we tap into the earth. Or earth. We tap into the source. And those source vibrations kind of get us wacky so sometimes we need to take a step back and the bottom of the deck is ace of swords mental clarity the whole thing is about mental clarity being who you are listening who you are listening to them using your gut instinct using your heart that's what they want Love, blessings, forgiveness. Simple as that. So, in this reading, I found no feelings or cards that would suggest that I had any influence of a near death to make me who I am. It feels more life experience and given from my ancestors. Kind of like the chosen one. Because <clears throat> I don't feel any of my my Aunt Ida or Maggie. <clears throat> um, you know, put themselves out there like I did, have. And use this so in a sense it feels like i'm the family chosen one <laughs> so that's that so if anyone's interested in about three to four hours eh, five six ish going live with karen elizabeth sage healers we're going to talk about spirit we're going to talk about whatever comes to mind and whatever the commenters and whoever show up want to talk about and some free readings so love and blessings and this is about me I gotta give you my military salute at the end catch you later